The single case that we have in, in U.S. Uh, appears to be this vaccine strain polio and seems to be related to the virus that has been identified in the sewage system in UK. The important thing about this particular case is that he never traveled anywhere outside of the US. So he got it from somebody here in the US. If someone else comes in contact with that person's stool, whether it's from hygiene issues or food water contamination, that person can pick up the virus and get polio. Western Hemisphere, in, in fact, much of the world, has been certified to be polio-free. Uh, currently, only two countries in the world have what we call wild strain polio, meaning that this is the original natural strain polio, and that is Afghanistan and Pakistan. The oral polio became the vaccine to basically be spread around everywhere. Now, over time, what happened is that some of these viruses, these weakened viruses, developed some mutations. And these mutations allowed this virus to basically flip back into kind of more like the old original wild strain virus and can cause the same kind of disease that the wild strain of the virus can cause. And so that's really called the vaccine strain derived uh, polio, paralytic polio. It can cause the same paralysis. It can cause uh, similar kind of uh, problems. All of the world that is certified to be uh, uh, polio free yeah. is essentially using inactivated vaccine. And that has varied for each country when they have become basically certified as polio free. The problem is that a lot of these people who get paralysis will have permanent damage will have limps, will, may not be able to walk at all. Uh, and, and that's a, a serious debility for people. And this is completely preventable. It's a completely safe vaccine. It's an inactivated vaccine that we give now. And it is a completely preventable disease. So you know, we really should be aiming for getting everyone protected.